Hi, my name is Will Bosey and I'm here with Climbing Daily and today I'm at the Park in Southampton Climbing Wall with John Dunn. How are you doing Will? Good to good, see good you. Good to see you as well. Great, you could make it down. Yeah, thanks for having me. So where have you come from today? Come down from uh, Sheffield today, ah, okay. about four hours. Right, okay. Um, but this is your climbing wall? It is, yeah. The wall's called Parfain, which is obviously named after a route you did back in the sure. day, Parfain Shot. We use the word Parfain because it's the route I did in the late 80s at Burbage South, a, a really amazing route on the prow. I can't even remember what grade it is these days, E9. Yeah. I think but it was that <laughs> next step forward in gritstone climbing. You're a competition climber, let's go on the Olympic wall and um, have a go, eh? That's yeah, a fantastic that. problem here, the blue one. Okay. Am I going first then? Absolutely, you're going first, absolutely. At least put a little bit of effort into it, Will. <laughs> yeah, this is, um, take it quite different to how you were training back in the day then, proms like this. Well, it's totally different. So my approach to this is, how far can I press that hole down? Yeah, yeah. And how far do I need to reach to get the next one? Whereas you've already read that, that it's too far and you're already dynamically approaching it, but you're not only going to the next hold, going to, yeah, you're to already the... going again. And it's a style that takes me a good few girls to do and it's just totally alien to how I climb because I've never been brought up to climb like that. It's brilliant to see. It is where I think parkour and gymnastics meet climbing. I think that's what's cool with it just being such a new sport is there's yeah, so yeah. much room for it to grow and change. Yeah, and, yeah. And these places yeah. are driving that. I mean, I would love for some horrible little ratty crimps to be up the wall, but your modern climb wall user just doesn't well, want that sort of hold. I have spotted some over there that we could always look at later. Oh, show me. Pretty cool how you've got the upper floor as well. Yeah, well it just um, spreads it out, it gives us some surface area to play with. Yeah, yeah. So on this panel I was like, this blue one's got some crimps, cool. green's got crimps, so a couple edges to play this on. This blue I think. looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I think we should go for that one. Nice. Definitely more the old school climb in this. Sweet, nice one. That to that is just a different world. Different style just of climbing, different. isn't yeah. it? You know, more static, locked off, and just like pulling on holds rather than moving between them, yeah. I guess. I, I do think I prefer this, so. So it's getting that balance. If you want to climb outside, I think you need a combination. Yeah, I think so. Like, you're probably never going to be doing big coordination dinos, but. Being able to do some dynamic moves, I think, is good. Another thing that's changed quite a lot is, uh, well, you were doing the sort of international competitions, the World Cups back sure. in late 80s? 87, 88, 89, yeah, back end of the 80s. So I guess the big change is the first two comps I did, um, they were outside. So oh, they yeah, were on natural yeah, cliffs yeah, yeah. where they'd bulldoze trees down, they'd chop chopped platforms and in some cases the chipped holes and cemented holes it was yeah. they were amazing but it was definitely not sustainable and and bringing them inside was the right thing to do for sure okay well let, let's got to do something on the slab and i always like to bag a classic and yeah, this looks fabulous shall we take that looks good yeah great right, i'll go first I think you need to ramp it up again and get on one of the greens. <laughs> this looks absolutely savage. Yeah. I don't know, um, yeah, this, this, this should be amusing. You not fancy trying this then? Well, I can't, you're trying it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look, look at this start. Brilliant. Okay, well, let's go into the training room. This is an area we're developing. We've, yeah. we've put the first phase in. I mean, for uh, a first phase, this is looking pretty good. Yeah, we've got the basics, the Beast Maker 1000, 2000. We've got the, with the woody board, the campus board, the circuit so, board. And then we're just debating what we're going to put in next. Do we put a kilter board in, a moon board? 
an angle board. So we're just yeah. trying to feel for our customers here. We're six months in. Yeah. And I think with most gyms, it's, it's easy to assume what people want, but, but what we're trying to do yeah, here is yeah. work out what they really want. How would you pick a route on there? Now, assuming you haven't, you're not going to pick an app up or you've got a plan, you know, how would you make a problem on there? So it kind of depends what you're in the mood for. Like, if I've got an idea in head, like, oh, I want to do like a undercut move or a okay. crimp move or a pinch move, and then I'll go and I'll find something that is kind of what a hold that's what I wanted to use, and then I'll try and build a problem around that. So like a mini project, you'll sort of work a couple of sequences and yeah, start so the link. Yeah, so like, I really want to use this undercut. Okay. And I was thinking that. So where, like, I would think, where would I come to this from? And it could be cool to come from two pinches, come up, then into the undercut, and then that's like beginning of the problem comes together and then just thinking, do I want to do like, is there another idea for the top or am I just going to then yeah. fill in moves if you know what I mean? But I think what would be really cool would be to come to this, which is quite sideways, and then do like a big flick out. So you could go up so to- that small crimp at the edge. Yeah, yeah. the small crimp okay. at the edge. And then maybe just do that big one for the finish. Definitely not hard enough for you that Yeah, one. so that was a bit easier than I was expecting. Is this like the sort of boards or stuff you would train on back in the day or? They look really basic now and okay, these are really nicely sculpted beast maker holes, but the first, I had two edges in my, in my garage when I was a kid. So this would have been about 83. And then the first training at Broomsgrove appeared where there were pictures of Jerry Moffat one hand dead hanging off small edges yeah. that he'd brought back from John Backer in America. It's like, oh my God, these guys are hanging on little wooden edges. And we were just blown away. So that was what I see as the first specific training beyond weight training. Well, this is a pee ball, though, Will. So let's, shall we oh, finish yeah. on there? Yeah, and is it, I take it, pee boulder for Parfian? Yeah, Andre nice. P's a little bit of a surprise, but they designed a boulder with a P to signify the brand Parfian. Yeah, it's it looks really good. fantastic blue on there. Oh yeah. I highly recommend. Yeah, I can get on that. Well, well, thanks Sweet. for coming out. It's been really, and look, I've really enjoyed talking to you. It's just, yeah. it, it's amazing. Just, you know, it's just like from my era to where you are today. Yeah, it's just like interesting to get your to the stories. Thoughts. Just really. So, look, thanks for coming down. Thanks for having and, me. Uh, you're always welcome at any of our centres, wherever you're passing. Thank you. Brilliant. Thanks, Will. <laughs>